I wore this foundation at 12 o'clock. Yes, darling. Yes, Jan. Yes, Jan. Of course, that true. Yes, Jan. Come, you wanna come? Come. Come up. Come up. I need to hold the camera in one hand. So can you please go down? Okay? Without barking. Without barking. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sara and if you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you guys leave. I make beauty and makeup related videos twice a week, Thursdays and Sundays. So hit on the bell button so that you're notified every time I upload. Today I'm reviewing the pack HD liquid foundation. This has been a well requested video on my channel. Every now and then I have received a comment on my videos stating that can you please review the pack foundation or what is your shade in the pack foundation. So today it's all the tea on that. Finally I've gotten down to doing the video that everyone requested and also I'm running a 9 to 8 to 9 hour wear test on this. So you will actually see the end result and end product of a foundation because sometimes in front of the camera everything looks amazing and then when you step out into the sun and the heat and the humidity of India the makeup just melts and everything just goes uh, haywire so we will see that in fact I'm going to be traveling all the way to Mud Island so I'm going to take the rickshaw then the boat then be walking so there's going to be some labor involved so this is going to be a real test of this foundation so if you want if you're interested and if you want to watch please keep on watching okay so to start with you know I always first give preference to packaging I know many people don't like that but quickly I'm gonna get the packaging out of the way because I really like it so this is what the package comes in this is like a cardboard bottle sort of thing which it comes in and it has says pack over here and the shade is also over here on a sticker my shade is 4.5 you roll it open and after opening it does your bottle this is what the glass bottle looks like it's got a pump over here and a cover for the pump it says pack right over here and it's a cute glass bottle glass bottle a plus 100 points for pump because definitely need that in fact mac does not give you a pump mac studio fix comes in a emptying jar which is a very I, I wish i had the bottle i just discarded the bottle two months back my mac foundation like got over and also got expired let's go to the price range this is 7.95 rupees very good price range if the product is good i'm not very sure how this is going to perform on me i don't know the finish i don't know anything about this foundation i've never seen a review on it uh this pump like i said comes with this cap like thing so that it's secure and does not get pumped out everywhere Definitely not a travel friendly packaging because the you can lose that cap and then the pump might leak in your bag Also glass bottle not very fit for traveling. Okay, so you get one full fluid ounce for 7.95 rupees. It's a good deal I feel it's a good deal if the product is good. So let's start directly into it I'm gonna zoom you all in my face. Okay, so let's get started if you have seen my foundation reviews in the past I do half a face with a, a sponge and half a face with a brush to see which is a preferred method with this foundation I'm gonna start with my favorite of course. It's a sponge. So I'm gonna take one full pump of the oh I need to prime I need to prime I always forget this step. I'm gonna use my Smashbox pore minimizing primer I get so excited when I'm reviewing new things that I completely forget to prime or do steps which are necessary for it. So I've used a little bit of the Smashbox primer, completely mattified my skin. My skin was already prepped and uh, prepared for foundation. So now let's get started. Um, I, like I said, I'm in the shade of 4.5. I really wanted to give a huge shout out to PAC for their shades because they have a variety of shades. You will definitely, definitely find your uh, perfect shade. For this, if you want to get shade match, they have a store in Veera Desai in Mumbai. But if you stay out of Mumbai, Pack Cosmetics is available on Nykaa. I just winged it. Like, I just went on Nykaa and so many of y'all were asking for this review. So, I was just like, let's just get the foundation which feels the best. Like, feels like my color. So, I went with 4.5 and somehow I, I just matched it on my jaw last night when I got this in my mail. It just matched perfectly. I don't know. I've never been this accurate for when I'm buying a foundation. Like I've gone wrong all the time. I think practice makes one perfect. I've called so many foundations online in the past. 
that this time I just got it right. It's a thick foundation, it's a thick consistency, but it's also dripping down my face, but not very fluidly like the NYX Total Drop Control. These are the sunscreen smell. Oh my god, this smells like the sunscreen which I used as a child. Have you used the shade sunscreen? Has any of y'all used the shade sunscreen? Let me know in the comments below. It used to be my holy grail sunscreen as a child because my mom used it all the time. So I was like I was a swimmer as a child. So she used to put this on me all the time. So it smells like my childhood. Oh my god. Does it have does it have SPF? No, it doesn't. There's no SPF property. But I don't know how it smells like sunscreen then. Uh, it does have a dewiness to it. If you can see, my skin looks dewy. Although my moisturizer is matte and my primer is also matte. It's added a nice shine to my face. I do like that. I like my foundations to give me a healthy glow. But I just hope it doesn't get oily throughout the day. It has a satin matte finish. It doesn't have a completely matte finish. And I would say the coverage is medium to full. It's not full full coverage because it's not covering my scars completely maybe because the sponge picks up excess product let's take another another one pump and then add a little bit of coverage on my cheeks let's see if it's buildable oh yeah definitely buildable definitely very very buildable oh this got applied so well it layers so well it kind of creases around the eyes so you can stay clear of your eyes because i'm gonna apply concealer anyway Maybe it's because I'm using a beauty sponge, the excess product gets lifted away. So the coverage kind of shears down. Maybe with a brush it might apply better. Okay, now that we're done, can you see? I actually really like the finish of this foundation. That dewy glow, I'm living for it. But I just hope it doesn't make me an oily mess at the end of the day. I have used a matte primer, matte moisturizer. So I'm hoping not. Use my same technique. Two pumps on my face. But there's like sort of a streakiness. Okay, I don't like the brush in at all. I don't like it. I'm gonna go in with my sponge because I don't think you can tell. But there's like a streakiness which is created on my skin because of the brush end. Like the brush strokes can be seen. So I don't really like that. Nobody likes that on a foundation. I'm gonna add more coverage with my beauty sponge. I think beauty sponge is the way to go. Yeah, see the coverage is beautiful the dewiness is beautiful i'm gonna come up close and show y'all what the skin looks like right now as of now i'm really liking the glow the shine the healthy look this foundation is giving me i think i'm really a big fan of it as of now uh, it's very lightweight does not feel like i have foundation on the face at all very very buildable foundation because i went in like with four five six pumps of the foundation to get this coverage so you will definitely be using a lot more product uh if you want this sort of coverage if you if you're like a medium coverage is fine it's definitely not light coverage it's medium coverage if medium coverage is fine for you then maybe two three pumps will do but i use six for this this face so i'm going to quickly set this face apply the rest of my makeup see how the makeup wears and we're definitely performing a wear test because otherwise what's the use of first impressions so i'll come back with the rest of my makeup okay guys so i'm back with my full face of makeup uh, I do have some opinion about this foundation. I'm just going to quickly show you all how it looks. So you all can make an opinion yourself. And then I'll tell you what I feel. Okay, so really quickly. First negative that I really feel about this foundation is that do not apply it near your eyes. It's creasing so badly under my eyes. Like I've never had worse under eyes ever. Like my concealer didn't sit well on it. Didn't blend well into the foundation because... My concealer is matte and uh, this foundation is dewy so the whole blend of it was not happening very well and anyways this foundation creased very badly on my under eyes and on my lids. So definitely do not put it in this area because if you have even more creased under eyes it will look horrible. So stay clear of this region. According to me I feel the rest of my face looks fine. I definitely have better looking foundations in my collection like my Huda Beauty, my Fenty Beauty, forget the expensive ones, my NYX and my L'Oreal ones also give me a better finish. I'm not saying it's horrible, I think I really like it. 
I like the shine it gave me. I did use the best of my makeup products on top of this. So I'm gonna list all the makeup I'm using on my face right now in the description section so y'all can have a look what I exactly went for, which combination. I actually even baked my under eyes because I did I wanted to avoid the creasing. I baked with my Laura Mercier powder. Still, it's not stopping the creasing, so the under eye problem is real. As of now, I don't hate this foundation. There is something about it that I'm not really liking, but I can't put a finger on it. So I'm gonna wear this. I, I really feel like wearing this foundation will give me proper thoughts on it. I showed it to my mom, so she was like, it's looking nice, but you have better foundation. That's her first reaction. My sister was video calling, so I showed her and she I asked her, I'm testing a new foundation, tell me how it is. She's like, it's nice, it's looking a little patchy. But I don't know, it, is it looking patchy? I don't feel that. In fact, I really like the way it's wearing around my nose and my mouth area because usually uh, like the Huda foundation as well sinks over here and causes like a dent area. This is so smooth around my nose region. Like it just, it's just looking like skin to me. So apart from the under eye, I personally don't feel a problem. So uh, my opinion stays the same. I do like it. I'm not gonna say I hate it just yet. Let me wear it for say 8 to 9 hours. I'm going to go meet my dog. So there's going to be a lot of licking and hugging and kissing involved. This is it for now. We will give a final thoughts at the end of the day. So stay tuned for that. Okay, hi guys. So it is 6 o'clock right now. 7, 7 o'clock right now. And I wore this foundation at 12. So it's a proper 7 hour wear test. I promised 8 to 9 hours. But I already have some thoughts on this foundation. Um, Okay, so firstly, if you can see that it's completely rubbed off in this area and on both of my cheeks actually. And that is because I went off to sleep. So, because I was sleeping and I sleep like a log, so it's like just wiped off on both my pillows. And that's the reason the bronzer and the powder and everything has gone away. So that proves one thing that it's not transfer proof. Uh, that is the only con I actually have to tell about this foundation as of now. The second con is that I feel the reason why why uh, everyone was saying that it was looking patchy, not everyone, my sister and my mom, was because I felt like apart from my other foundations like my L'Oreal and my NYX, they sink into the skin and make your skin look nice. Uh, whereas this foundation was sitting on my skin, like it just sat on all my pimples. I have three pimples going on right now. And all my scars it just sat on my face. It didn't like really sink in. But I also love a lot of things about this foundation. I love the fact that my skin just looks dewy. Can you see this is not sweat because I'm in AC throughout the day. So it's not sweat, it's just glow. And all throughout the day I kept looking at myself in the mirror. So to check how the foundation was doing and it was constantly glowing. My skin looked nice and glowy and healthy. So that's what I like. The second thing is if you can see it's not like bunched up over here Like usually foundations after six to seven hours start to collect around my nose and collect on my forehead This foundation has only stayed in my t-zone, but it's not collected in those areas. So a plus for that The negative is the transferring test. You cannot wear this foundation for long journeys or long travels or weddings or all of that i think the finish is gorgeous and oily plus dry skin type would love it i don't know what kind of a weird formula this is it gives you a dewy finish but doesn't make you oily throughout the day i didn't i didn't get oily i traveled i'm at home my dogs have been licking my foundation off my face and right now they've just like calmed down after a lot of activity but um yeah, so after all of that, I feel my thoughts are that this is a nice foundation. It definitely does not replace L'Oreal Matte Magic for me. But it's definitely a nice foundation. I'm going to keep using it. I want to play around with it a little more. Maybe switch up, the, switch up the primer and avoid putting it under my eyes. Because this area is a complete mess. I'm very tired now. I just want to take this off and play with my dogs like unhindered. I, I didn't let them eat my makeup at all. So I was keeping them away from my face. But now I can. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button if you did enjoy this video. And subscribe to my channel. It is for free. I will see you in my next video bye guys Zia come say bye come say bye John say bye